Some engineering students from Bucknell University are helping a three-legged golden retriever live a more fulfilling life. The students are making Doug a prosthetic leg. Newswatch 16's Nikki Cries caught up with the group to see how it's going. It's hard not to smile when you meet Doug. The two-year-old golden retriever was born without a right front leg. We puppy sat him. And lo and behold, at the end of that two weeks, he became ours. Doug belongs to Mary Ann Stanton of Lewisburg, who works at Bucknell University. She says while Doug gets around well right now, retrievers are prone to arthritis. With all of the impact and weight that is on that left leg all the time, he's going to probably develop that much sooner, which will create issues in his mobility. Mary Ann's vet recommended she look into getting Doug a prosthetic leg. Mary Ann knew just where to turn. Turn. We've done a lot of research on prosthetics for animals, um, but it's it's different for every case of a prosthetic. So um, we're really trying to make this perfect for Doug. Grace Adams, Emma O'Shea, and Will Carceri are senior engineering students at Bucknell. They are members of the university's prosthetics club and jumped at the chance to help Doug. That was like my dream job as a kid was to make prosthetics for animals. I've like contacted companies even in the past trying to work for them. So I was super excited that we could do it just here at school. We had an initial meeting with Doug. We took some measurements and kind of watched how he ran. And um, from there, we kind of made our prosthetics accordingly. The students are revamping their initial prototypes and have a good idea on how to proceed with the prosthetic. Just awesome to get the idea that hopefully we're going to help him in the future. While Doug currently prefers chewing on his prosthetic to walking on it, Marianne is confident he will learn to love wearing it. He's become sort of my constant companion in hiking and walking. So I could not be more grateful to this for this opportunity. The students say working with Doug has been rewarding and Doug seems to love all of the extra attention. Nikki Cries, Newswatch 16, Union County.